Good day, YouTube. It is the 9th of February, 2020. And uh been fighting an air leak in the bus. This is a 1963 uh, PD4106 GM bus. That is what I guess we call the ICC lever. I think what it does is takes all the available air pressure when you flip this thing down and puts it to the rear brakes. It's an it's a last chance emergency start emergency start emergency stop um, everything it's got takes to the rear and stops uh, with everything it has to stop with abruptly but it leaks air from that switch I took it into local truck shop and uh, they just kept replacing that switch they had three of them in stock they put all three of them in there, and they all still leak. Um, turns out there is a vent on that, which just bleeds off air that has gotten there for whatever reason. And so basically to allow things to work, I suppose. But uh, it leaks no matter which switch is in it. So a uh, little bit of chatting on the Facebook forums. Facebook group pages on these buses. Um, they say down below the floor is uh, uh, components down there that have a rubber bellows that uh, needs to be replaced. So I contacted Luke at US Coach and he concurred. He had one in stock, he has sent it to me. But let me show you what this is. We'll have to start the bus. Let it warm up. Fire and hole. With that leak, it doesn't allow doesn't allow it to retain any pressure at all once you've shut it off. The compressor keeps up, but, uh, yeah, it just doesn't allow it to hold any pressure. And it's obnoxious driving down the road with the air leak in your dash. So let's let this thing air up and I'll show you what that leak is. So it's built in air pressure. I think my gauge is actually a little sticky and it's lower. You know, when it gets down like 30 pounds, I think it's probably got more like 50 in it now, but it'll jump up there in a second. But you can hear a switch leaking. So that's what I'm fighting. It'll just sit here and bleed all the air off now. So, I hope everybody's right, and I hope this isn't too difficult to replace. I haven't even gotten through that uh, compartment below to look at how difficult this is to get to, just because the weather's been so horrible. No sense doing this in the rain. We're not going anywhere. So, today's a nice day, though. So let's go dig into it. I did want to show you, uh, this is my first uh, order from U.S. Coach. I know that everybody uses them. I, I don't know if he's the only game in town. But this is kind of cool. Let's empty the contents of this. Hang on a sec. So, uh, first of all, Sent me a calendar, 2020 calendar. I put that in the coach. So that's cool. This is card. Focus. Sorry. There you go. In case you need contact information, a uh, little invoice for the little rubber deal. Might even be something that they make, but uh, I don't think I can make one. 
Um, little invoice. This part was only uh, $13. And kind of a little welcome letter, if you will. So when I got this, I went, well, that's just kind of cool. Uh, what they do and the parts they have and so forth. You know, those of us that have these buses, we don't always know uh, who to count on for parts and stuff. So it's nice not only to have a parts company that you know, supplies them, but to have one that's you know this personable uh, is kind of cool. So anyway, that's the part. Hopefully, uh, it doesn't take much to install it. We can get it done here and make that air leak go away. I'll uh, check back with you. All right, guys, we have fast forwarded many weeks actually, um, and last weekend. Uh, I hired a friend of mine to come help me change out this diaphragm. Let me just show you from this side where it is. Oh, yeah. Got a light here. Essentially, yeah. Right there. You can see the airline coming down to it. You can see both halves. It has four brass screws that hold it together, like a 1032 screw. Um, my buddy's pretty small, and he was able to climb right in there and get right at it, get it all changed out for me. I'll show you what the uh, old one looks like. And there it is. You can see that one side was coming in. I don't know if it was even sealing completely, but... Uh, Try to zoom in on it. You can see all the cracks. Plus, it's very stiff. Um, barely moves. So, again, um, a U.S. coach sent me a replacement. You can tell they're just something that they're making right then and there. Um, and uh, we got it replaced and uh, fired it up. And no air leak. No air leak out that switch. Um, pretty happy about that because she's been leaking since we got it. And... Uh, it's been pretty irritating so pretty happy camper about that um, anyway um, she's coming along we're getting there of course we're all quarantined like y'all right now so even if we could go we can't go um, <laughs> uh, we have never actually made and voyage this thing yet but it's getting uh, very ready to do so really nothing holding us back at this point. I'm really glad to have that done and I just thought I'd show y'all um, That because I think eventually y'all with a 4106 anyway We'll have to change one of those out. It's not difficult to do by any means um, I have a really bad back and uh, I'm I'm pretty wide at the shoulders and there so so it's a little difficult for me to get in there. I've tried it a couple times and uh, the back pain just wouldn't let me do it. Um, and even if I could have got to it without the pain, I'm not sure if I could have, I could have probably done it, but uh, it would not have been fun. So hire you a small person and um, my uh, buddy Justin, he just crawled right up in there, got her taken care of for me. So gang, thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing. Please hit the thumbs up button. I do these videos for free, but somebody's got to pay the man. And uh, it helps spread that out a little bit if you will. Thumbs up and uh, YouTube will suggest this a pretty good video for someone else. So we'll catch you guys uh, on the next one.